Hey guys, Tony, KD8RTT. I want to do a quick video on this uh, recent Craigslist find. Uh, it's a BK Precision 2831A digital multimeter. Um, I got it on Craigslist for about 25 bucks. Um, he threw in some extra leads um, or probes, not these. Uh, these are some cheap ones. Um, but uh, yeah, threw those in. Um, it was a, I think it was a fairly good deal um, comparing it to what you can find it online. So basically I got this because what I have been using are those uh, cheap Harbor Freight uh, multimeters that you can get for free often. Um, I have a few of them because you know, they're easy to get for free. Um, and they're okay for general use. They're not accurate. They're cheap construction quality. They're probably not that safe. Uh, so I thought I should you know, get something a little bit better. Um, so I went on Craigslist and uh, found this. Um, pretty basic featured multimeter. Um, they currently make the 2831E. That's the current model, so this is a few models old at least. Um, but, you know, it, it really does all that I'm looking for. Um, of course, you got the AC, DC, volts, amps, um, resistance, continuity tester, splits up by all your ranges, uh, up to 20 mega ohms, 20 amps. Um, looks like 1,000 volts AC and 1,200 volts DC, more than enough for what I'm going to be doing. Of course, you got your uh, current... Um, uh, ammeter um, jacks are separate for the 20 amp, 2 amp, and then your uh, voltage and um, resistance meter is separate. So that's nice, up to 20 amps, that's definitely better. Um, the Harbor Freight ones went up to 10, and I don't think they're that safe, so I didn't like using anything near 10. Um, but yeah, that's good. Um, yeah, the, and uh, we'll go ahead and turn it on. You get this nice little red display. Um, not too bad there. Uh, the, the one feature I was really looking for, and probably the reason I really decided to get a multimeter now, um, a better one, um, was the continuity tester. I use that a lot, actually. And um, one of the nice things about most meters is the beeping function. Um, instead of having to look at the display, it'll actually beep when there's continuity. The really cheap ones don't do that. They show like the resistance on the screen, which, yeah, it kind of tells you there's continuity, but it's, you know, you have to look at the screen. And when I'm probing around in the circuit, I don't want to do that. So, one, one that beeps. So, you know, if you look here and uh, turn that function on, let's see. That's why. So, you have to turn it on to the uh, there's a little, uh, looks like sound wave setting and if you turn that off so make sure they're both on the right setting took me a while to figure that out but it beeps which is awesome it's not super fast as you can see but relatively fast i mean definitely usable um, so that was one of the features i was really looking for i'm really glad it has and i'll use that a lot um, other than that it's pretty basic i mean you got the adjustable um, stand which uh, you pull out on both sides to to move. Um, I won't do that because it'll be clumsy in front of the camera. Um, it uses the standard IEC power cable and uh, no problems there. Um, it's plastic. Everything's plastic. The stand, the case. Um, so, you know, that is obviously a lower cost meter, but you know, for me that's perfect. You know, not a problem there. It'll be sitting on my bench. Um, yeah, so I don't see anywhere where it's user replaceable fuse wise. Um, I haven't really looked too much, but nothing obvious. Um, I couldn't find a manual online for this actually. So if anyone knows of one, please shoot me a message. Um, I'd love to get it. I don't know if, there, if there's something in there that, I, that I'd be used, uh, that would be useful to read, but um, couldn't find it. Um, and like I said, it's older, a few generations old at least. Um, but yeah, so 25 bucks on Craigslist. If you're looking for test equipment, I suggest checking out Craigslist. I've got, I got this, I got um, two scopes and a function generator, or signal generator, um, given to me, given to me for free from Craigslist, actually. Because um, I was a student and actually the person who gave it to me, his kids go to my college. So it was awesome. That was really nice. So I might make another video on that. But yeah, Craigslist is definitely a good place to look. I got this for 25 like I said. I looked on eBay. I think they were going around 50 
So, you know, it's a little more expensive there. So, if you, and it's, I, I like doing the local deal because it's quicker, cash, don't worry about anything like that. Um, so, yeah, definitely check out Craigslist if you're looking for some meters. I, I'll do some uh, more uh, videos kind of like this of cool things I find as I find them, but I thought you might like to see this. Um, you know, basic multimeter, look out there. Of course, bench multimeters, a lot of people think they're kind of useless because you can get good handheld ones that are much smaller, more portable. And yeah, that's probably true. Um, I'd love to get a good Fluke handheld, but they're obviously much more expensive. I'm not gonna get a good Fluke for 25 bucks. So for now, I'll live with this. Um, but yeah, so. All right, guys, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Uh, remember to subscribe and uh, 73.